Good afternoon, everybody. Um, it's Tyler Swope here of Chico Crypto Consultants, here to break down the week in crypto for you guys and do a little bit different video, more informative for you guys. I've had some requests. So to start us off, Bitcoin is up at about 4,158 per Bitcoin. It was at about 4,300 and we've had a little bit of a dip. The crypto market, we've had a little bit of a sell-off, um, big time with Ethereum. They're down to 290.06 per share. Some things going on with their network. Um, I'm gonna have to do some research. I'll keep you guys updated if you need it. Also, Bitcoin's dominance has went back up to 50.4. They control 50% of the market, up from 47%, which I think is definitely a good thing in the long run. Um, Bitcoin is going to control most of the market. Bitcoin Cash, garbage, disregard that. IOTA, up to almost a dollar per share, which is pretty crazy. Um, there's 2.7 billion IOTAs out there right now. Litecoin, um, doesn't do much different than Bitcoin. Now with the Segwit, I'm not a big fan. NEO, what I'm here to talk to you guys about. NEO is up to 42.82 a share, down from upwards of 55, um, settling in this range, which is great. We'll keep going down. Bitum, um, which I talked to you guys about yesterday, down from 32 cents to about 28 cents. Bitum's going to be big. Um, Qtum, which is has a market share of almost a billion dollars does nothing and Bidum does something. It has a different proof of work algorithm backed by 8 BTC and is mineable. It's a recipe for a great thing, so invest in Bidum. I still recommend it. Go for it, guys. So to continue on, another thing I've been wanting to show you guys is gas. Um, gas is trading at about $35 a share which is great in my opinion. Um, that's gonna come out to salaries for some people in third world countries if they own a thousand Neo. And they got them at less than a thousand dollars. I mean, come on, it's a great thing. So gas definitely going up, up 15%. Recommend um, get Neo to get gas. Um, Self-reinforcing loop with gas, very interesting. So Ethereal, um, down 474 a share. I'm not too sure what's going on with Ethereal. I'm gonna have to do some research. But today I wanted to kind of give you guys an informative video. I'm gonna show you guys how to go from cash in your bank to buying Neo and getting it on your own computer. So to start us out, we're gonna, this is the Coinbase homepage. Um, most common place to buy Bitcoin for beginners. There's different um, places where you can get them for cheaper, but I would recommend you just starting off here. Graph page, pretty simple, pretty user friendly. Way better than about three years ago, it was pretty garbage. So to start us out, you need to verify your account to even get into Coinbase. Oh, well, it looks like they signed me out, so I'll have to sign back in. It's a good thing because I'll show you guys about two-factor authentication, which is coming up next. I recommend you get this on your account. It is on your phone through Google, and the only way to get in your account is to not only have your password, but to enter the authentication code as well. So now that I'm in, let's go verify my account. So the place you would go is settings. You can go to security to get the two-factor authentication right here. Also, it shows you web sessions, so you can make sure no one's getting into your account, IP addresses. So you need to go to your profile. You have the picture, change the password, nickname, you're going to have to enter your personal details to buy stuff from Coinbase. So if you want to remain anonymous, this is a good place for you. 
you need to add a payment method actually as well. So you can either add a bank account for higher limits, but the coins won't be to you in a few days. Or you can add a debit or credit card, which is InstaBuy is up to $500. Or I think mine is $2,500. I'm not sure right now, but I usually don't buy that more that much at a time. But if I do, I use my bank account. So here's the buy and sell page. You can buy Ethereum, Bitcoin, and Litecoin. You can also sell them here for cash in your bank account. Choose your payment method, either your bank or your debit credit slash debit card. You can put in amounts in Bitcoin or US dollars. For example, let's put in 50. You would then buy Bitcoin. They do charge a premium with Coinbase. So if you want, don't want to pay that premium, buy them from GDXS, GDX, which is through Coinbase or an exchange such as that. So they'll be instantly in your account. My account has none, all my stuff is in other places. I'm not gonna show you guys that. But, so let me show you guys how to send it. So you'll wanna send it to an exchange where you can trade Bitcoins for altcoins. In this example, we're gonna be doing NEO. So you're going to have to make a Bitrex account, they're my favorite exchange right now, bitrex.com. You're going to have to go through the same things, entering per personal details, just to get yourself verified. Once you get all that done, you click on wallets, and it's going to show your account balances. You would then go to where it says Bitcoin, and they have a plus and minus sign to the left of it. You're gonna need to click the plus sign and then you're gonna need to copy your Bitcoin address. So if anyone wants to send me some stuff at my Bitrex address, go ahead, there's a QR code. So copy that address right there. Go to send in your Coinbase. And you're gonna need to paste your Coinbase address into the recipient field. It's basically like a street address. It verifies that that's the place it needs to go. And it, they are only up there. They identify only one address, not counterfeit or anything. So then you're gonna put in your amount. You can click the use max right there. You use max and you send the funds so the funds will eventually with the bitcoin network it's taking about 10 minutes to a half hour for funds to get over once they get there you'll be able to now trade for altcoins you can get to the trading page on bitrex through that hyperlink right there or clicking on bitcoin markets up at the top and clicking neo so this will take you to the NEO exchange page, similar to how a stock market trading page works. Take a little bit to load. So the greens are buys and the reds are sells. And here's the flow of it through the day in 30 minute intervals. So to buy them, you're going to come down to the trading section. Buy NEO and sell NEO. So you can buy NEO for Bitcoin or sell NEO for Bitcoin here. You're going to want to take the lowest ask price, which is basically the lowest sell price. You can click right here and click ask. And that will take the lowest ask price and automatically fill it. You can also put in a bid that's lower than the ask price, lower than the bid price, but higher than the ask price. So you can get a better deal, but if you want to get them automatically, I recommend just going with the lowest ask price. You can click max and it will fill out it for you. And then 
actually the price changed so I had to click it again so then you buy Neo looks like I don't have enough in my account to buy any Neo right now but it would have automatically came into my account so now that I have some Neo we're gonna need to send it to the Neo wallet um, I would recommend the City of Zion Neon Wallet. It is built by the developers, independent developers for Neo. A solid group of guys. Um, definitely recommend you get it. So now let's get it out of here. So we're going to come back to our account balance page, click the minus sign to take Neo away. You will then put in the address from your Neon wallet. So to create, a, you can use a private key from an old wallet or you can create a new wallet. I'm going to create a new wallet right now. And it's going to give you your public address and a QR code and your private WIF key. So I'm going to put no funds in here so any hackers, you can't get it. What you're going to want to do is copy your private key. Make sure to write it down. Um, make sure your computer is completely wiped of anything if you're going to be using the Neon Wallet to store your Neo. You don't want anyone getting in. And if they have your private key, they can get in. So now you'll enter your private key. Oops, put it twice. Paste it one more time. Click login and you're in your wallet. This is the base page of the Neon Wallet. Pretty simple, pretty self-explanatory. Send function at the top. You're going to want to take your public address from your Neon Wallet, minus, put in the address in the address field, your quantity, you want to withdraw all, withdraw all. So Neo Asset is not divisible and Bitrex takes a 0.1 transaction fee. So if you want to withdraw Neo, you're going to have to put in 1.1 to withdraw one. So say you have 28.3 Neo. To withdraw it all, to withdraw it, you're going to want to put in 20.1 because you only can withdraw full funds. The NEO network is very fast. Your funds will be there within 15 to 20, less than a minute. A lot faster than Bitcoin. So if you guys found this video informational, subscribe to me. Um, let me know if you need help with anything else. And I'll be here for you guys. Thanks again. It's Tyler. Have a great day.